Okay, so having spared everyone the whole bit about me refilling my E-tanks with the little slugs um, in this room, I can now safely and effectively, maybe, God, I hope so anyway, uh, finish this game, beat out Sigma, and call it a damn day, because I'm, I'm done with this. I'm so done with this game. I guess it's nice to know I got through it, or I'll have gotten through it, but still, it's the, I don't know, the, it's the whole fact of the matter that I've been doing this for like, I mean, I think a combined total of almost two hours of my life now, which doesn't sound like much, but when it's this, it's like, well, you know, please, just let it end. I'm sure everybody's sick of seeing this intro, too. More than likely, anyway. I know I sure as hell am. We're so close. We're 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 at we're at the finishing line. We are so close to the end. It's stupid. So let's get the rolling ball out because I actually did look it up in a in a guide. If anybody was wondering in the last video, yes, when I had that long pause on the pause screen, I was in fact double checking to make sure what if anything was super effective against this dude. It turns out it's armored armadillo's weapon. Why on earth did that do that twice? Man, fuck this boss, man. Oh, fuck off. Ugh, shit like this always irritates the tits out of me. Man. Because, like, there's no way to tell half the time, like, where it's going to go or where he's going to aim it. it. Just drives me up a damn wall. And I've only hit him, what, twice? Once? Ah. Jesus Christ. He does so much fucking damage when he hits you. Doesn't matter what he hits you with on top of that. Not to mention the hitbox on his head is so fucking wonky. You have to, like, jump up as high as you can just to make sure that, that your attack hits. Because if it don't, it runs right through him. Woohoohoo. Slowly but surely turn, turning into a... Uh, a good argument not to play this game, but I assure you, it's a great game. It's just stuff like this can get a little frustrating because it's like, how many ways can we have you at, an, at a disadvantage against the last boss in ways that don't really make a lot of sense? And now he's being good. I'm getting like an excellent pattern here where he's just like basically seemingly giving up and just doing his thing. Shocked he didn't do that twice. Historically speaking, that's every time he's done it so far, so good that the game is starting to be a little more merciful. Here it comes. Oh, fuck me, of course. Why Why on earth would it make... What do you do? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're so close. We're almost done. So close. Nobody will ever have to hear me complain about this particular game again. Oh, my God. Holy shit! Come on. Come on. Pop your hand down. Jesus. Just give, give me a break. There we go. Okay, finally. Yay, we did it. Woohoo. After multiple failed attempts, a mostly embarrassing run, and a bunch of bitching and complaining, I did it. Yay. I can't be destroyed by you. Well, I just didn't. Island in the sky. I, I don't know why it took Zero that long to figure out that hey, there's a landmass floating. Um, but uh, so that's gone now. That exploded, and uh, now comes the extremely long in text, which uh, well. I just think this is kind of hilarious, though. Actually, in 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 retrospect, since especially in which like, or especially considering what K. Junafune and his team ended up doing with the X series, and especially with Zero, you know, they 
you know, like, oh shoot, you know, oh, sacrifice themselves for the victory. We'll never return. We'll never return. That's that that should have been a big fucking hint to anybody at the time. Will never return except in the second game where he's rebuilt, in the third game where you get to play as him, and in the fourth game where he's a main character that you can always play as, in the fifth game where he's a super main character, and the sixth game where he comes back to life yet again, and the Zero series where he comes back to life yet again for four more games after that, and then the ZX series where he's kind of sort of technically alive, but not, not quite or something, I'm not sure. My brother once tried to explain it to me, it didn't make a lot of sense. Such a corny line at the end. The only, maybe only the X Buster on his hand knows for sure. Like, come on, guys! Holy shit! It's a Mega Man game. They've got the depth. They've got their de Their plots have the depth of a fucking puddle. Uh, I mean, come on. It's so heavy-handed and just goofy. There at the end, like, here's a game that's all bright colors and you know fast rock music, and let's get all let's try to get all maudlin at the end. I always like these, though. Cast lists, like... I, they, they called it a cast list alone is already goofy, but... This is the name of all the different robots. I hope you, I hope you can, uh, can imagine which ones... Which, which, which names go with which robots, since they don't actually give you a visual reference. It's not really a complaint, but it's just more of an odd, an odd thing to notice. Like, yeah, I, I definitely remember exactly what the rolling gabule is. And the Metul C15, like, like the only thing, I, the Mega Tortoise or Tortois, actually, is what it looked like. Tortoise? I, I'm not even sure how the hell they were trying to spell that. Rangda Bangda, that's his name. Rangda Bangda. And they have to do this whole bit where it's like, I don't know, is he? Fondly remembering the things he murdered in cold blood? I, I don't know. I always found that strange, too. Like, I mean, it's been proven, I guess, throughout the X series and throughout all the Mega Man series, like, all the different Robot Masters and the Mavericks, they can all apparently be rebuilt and fought again. And so, so, like, wouldn't, I mean, because if they went, if they were, like, useful before they went rogue, I mean, couldn't, like, they just rebuild them from the scrap pieces and then be like, yo, don't do that shit again. Boomer Kwing would be like, yeah, I learned my lesson. I don't want to take a missile to the head again. I don't know. Very strange internal logic with, with, with the Mega Man games. Never made a lot of sense. I think the com, like, I know they did, like, mangas at one point. I think they kind of acknowledge or at least tried to assess that issue but you know whatever good little game though and you as Mega Man X now see that's kinda neat though I do like that that's like a nice little like yeah we will acknowledge you finally you did good even though you really didn't do very good programmers Cal, Sabori, Sokka, and Dewey this is the other part, thing about like older games. I like not all of them follow this particular thing, but like you'll notice that none of these names make any sense at all. Um, and sound designer was Elf apparently. Um, you'll notice that these are all like you know four names. These are just their first names: Doctor Kuhn, you know, Professor F. Uh, and I, I'm not entirely sure why this was. I don't know if it was because Capcom were dicks and just didn't want anybody to give their real names in the credits, which makes very little sense. Or this was supposed to be some weird joke, but it makes it kind of hard for me to, like, try to appreciate some of the level design decisions, some of the design decisions in, in, in this particular game, because it's like, who the fuck are these people? Like, I don't know any of you people. Like, I can't place any of you to anyone in Capcom at any point in time, because I don't know who the fuck Professor F is. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there is one more... Because there's a... Could be wrong. I thought there was a reason that screen is back there. I'll let it run. I'm pretty sure it does something, though. I could be wrong. 
Then again, I'm probably just sitting here listening to this actually pretty good little musical track. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting some weird ass shit because apparently robots have souls. Um. Very soon. Very soon. Because Mega Man X will be back in Mega Man X2. Um. Excellent. It surely it doesn't just stop on this screen. I, I, I don't remember that part. Does it? God, that's a foreboding fucking screen to end on. It's just like, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sigma will be back. He's going to try to kill everyone again. Yay. But yeah, I do suppose that is it. So um, I guess, yeah, if you somehow, for any viewer or viewers who happen to sit through this entire uh, little presentation, um, don't know how you did it, fantastic. Thank you very much, and I appreciate you watching. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, hopefully I won't be so slow on the next video, whatever it might be. I don't think it's going to be X2 off the bat. I think I need a break uh, from Mega Man uh, after all this. But, um, but hopefully uh, within the next few days I'll, I don't know, I'll have something else for everybody to have a look at. But uh, in that, but until then, um, hopefully it wasn't too rough and hopefully it wasn't too boring. Thank you for watching once again and... Uh, Catch you, catch you later, alligator. <laughs>